Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss the reducing properties of monosaccharides. The reducing properties of monosaccharides is because of free aldehyde or ketone group. For testing the presence of reducing sugars in a solution, we perform Benedict's test or Fehling's test. Now, we will take the Benedict test in discussion. Benedict's reagent is blue colored and it is having sodium carbonate, sodium citrate and copper sulfate pentahydrate. Now, if I take glucose in alkaline medium and then Benedict's reagent is added. We'll observe brick color if this solution is heated for few minutes. Now what has happened? Glucose is converted to its indial form. This we have discussed in previous lectures and it is strongly reducing in alkaline medium. And the copper sulfate means cupric ions are there. So in diols will reduce the cupric ions to cuprous ion and they will themselves oxidize to sugar acids and copper ions will form Cu2O that is cuprous oxide which is of brick red color. So this is this gives the presence of reducing sugars. Now what are the examples of reducing sugars? All monosaccharides like glyceraldehyde glucose, fructose, etc. Many disaccharides like lactose, mannose and very few polysaccharides like starch. So these are the examples of reducing sugars. Even you can take cellobios. It will also give the presence of reducing sugar. And the sucrose and trihalose these are basically examples of non reducing sugars. So these are the reducing properties of monosaccharides. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.